So we have decided, all three of us, Nick and Peter, that uh, Nick's TDO5 air pump is too small for his engine and it can't pump any more air. It's on about, what, 23 PSI? I think it's more like 26, 27? 27 PSI. And for every PSI boost we were going up, it wasn't making really much difference in the power um, for the horsepower numbers. So we've come up with an idea. Uh, probably six months ago, you probably saw I do a, uh, did a post on um, putting a 3071, uh, 3076 on the green starlet. And since then, we've built Nick's car. It's got the Ford's den Ford engine. It's got the good clutch, uh, Microtech, all the gear on it. So we've decided to do a big turbo setup for Nick's car instead. Um, this is the manifold that we slapped together with the Lego um, a few months ago now. And this was pretty much what we wanted to do. And with this setup here, this still does fit with the stock radiator as well. Uh, just an eBay turbo. Now, I was pretty happy with it and we thought, yep, we'll put that on Nick's car and when we've test fitted it and we tried to shut the bonnet, this hits the bonnet. And we thought, oh, well, stuff it. We'll just cut a little hole in the bonnet there and um, just send it anyway. Before we even started to make the manifold, I then realized I didn't have the relocator anymore for the, t uh, for the oil filter. And because Nick's gonna be running the air conditioning, there's not really any room to put a relocator anyway. I come across with the, of this half size oil filter, which is this Z1082, which is half the size of a Z386. And it fouls on the manifold, which means we have to scrap this whole manifold design and start again. Um, we're still weighing up. Do you want to go full size radiator or half? It doesn't bother me. Honestly. Doesn't matter. Yeah, like it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, so we're, we're still working out what we want to do, but I think if we're going to go this far to put um, this high mount turbo on there, um, big turbo with the external wastegate, and we have to reroute the manifold and change that again, um, lift that off. We figured we'll dump that, and we've got an even bigger one, which is a GT3582. Pretty much the same frame size just has much bigger wheels and funny enough this turbo actually has a smaller rear housing which is a 0.63 and this one's a 0.82 so even though this is a bigger wheel turbo it's got a smaller rear housing so it'll probably spool a little bit quicker as well so yeah because we're going to change all this maybe we should do that we should just go to that half size radiator we could probably move the turbo bring the turbo the across a little we bit we won't have to cut the side of the head like like, like you did on this one mm. you chop that bit away there yeah you won't have to do that one mine yeah. yeah we can bring it down a little bit um, I thought the hole in the bonnet was pretty cool though. Oh, it, def <laughs> it definitely would have been cool, but... <laughs> so that's the next step now. We'll have to pull these red blocks off and pull the flanges and stuff off and start again. But um, you're probably asking why the hell are we going so big? And we figured that the TDO5 made like 300 horsepower max with the gas and on around sort of 25 pounds of boost, you know, what was it, 250 horsepower, something, something like that? Like, yeah, 240. If we were to run this on 20 pounds of boost, it's probably going to make more power and it'll have less back pressure. Yes, okay, it's going to be a bit laggier, but Nick's got a forged engine now, so we can easily turn that to like eight and a half thousand. Yeah, let's be honest, it'll look cool. And it'll look sick. And I can't say I've ever seen a 3582 on a 1.5 litre before. 1.3? Oh shit, 1.3. Yeah, it's going to be wild, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. We'll see, if it, if it doesn't come on, we can always put the 30 on. Yeah, just put the small turbo on, or just more nitrous. Yeah. But I honestly think if this is on 25 pounds of boost, it's going to go 400. Yeah, and we'll just we'll just like turn it up to eight grand or something, whatever. <laughs> like, it's not going to blow up. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to blow up. Yeah. Oh, it might, but. <laughs> so that's the next milestone now. Big turbo and get the clunker motor to make 400, 400 wheel horsepower. Why is the turbo where it is right now? in regards to like so far to the front of the engine. When I was trying to make this for the full size radiator, the radiator sat there. So now that we aren't doing a full size radiator, could we move the turbo to the front of it's here? Yes. Away from all right. the stuff. Away from you everything. Don't have to cut everything. Right. And then all we need to do for the manifold is have 90 degree bends down, around and in. The two outside ones to here, the two inside ones to there. Super easy. The only issue I can see is this getting close to the radiator hoses which are about here you just put heat wrapped i just don't like that that'll, that'll be very hot we can get short radius bends in three inch as well yeah, as long as we can still fit the wastegate but we can actually put a wastegate probably there because we don't have a full-size radiator maybe or like on an angle who knows oh yeah whatever all right well we may as well um we'll get that off and we may as well take all the welds off and start again yeah
So we've got some more progress on the manifold building saga. We've got the collector all welded up and we've got one of those runners sorted. So we are flying ahead with progress. Where's another runner hiding? Oh, here we go. Runners one, two, three, and four, they're all on there. Super compact. And we just put the hole there in the collector so we can have the wastegate pipe on there. You know. Yeah. Wastegate's welded on. So we've had this so we can spin around to have a bonnet exit. Or we spin around this way. So then we can have it going underneath the car. Well, it's got the G30 on there, probably on some area. Oh yeah, with the nice turbo on there. This is way too flash for a starlet. But it's gonna be sick. <laughs>